Hi everyone, my name is Akurede Adenike. You are highly welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. If you are my old subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to draft half-scale basic bodice pattern with bust that in a very simple way. This is the pattern paper I'm using for the tutorial today and these are my tools. So let's begin. I'll first of all draw a straight line here which will indicate my starting point and my shoulder line. Just make sure you have, you measure about one inch from the edge here and roll it out. That will be my shoulder line. So let me quickly do that for you guys. If you are a beginner, please make sure you measure before rolling. So here is it now. As for this edge, this side will be my back part and this side will be my front part. I'm going to leave about 1 inch or 1.5 inches, which I'm going to use later for my zipper allowance. So. I'm going to connect it to form a straight line. That will be my center back line. I said I'm drafting out half scale basic bodice pattern. So I'm making use of the bigger, biggest part of my upper parts to calculate my measurement out which is my bust. My bust is 38 inches divided by 2 because both back and front is going to be on this page. So I'm going to divide my bust into 2, which is 38 inches divided by 2. That is 19 inches. And I'm going to add extra 5 inches to it. That, that will be 24 inches because of all the allowances that I'm going to make use of later. So just make sure you watch from the beginning till the end for you to understand it very well. So I'm going to connect it just like this. And I will easily divide this box into two. You know I have 24 inches here. So I'm going to divide it into two. That is 12 inches. So I'm going to connect it as well. So let me label it for me not to make any silly mistake. This is my shoulder line, my back, center back, CB, and this is my center front. So this is my side seam line for both front and back. So like I said, I said I'm, made, I'm drafting out half scale basic bodice pattern with bust that, which means front length is going to be longer than the back length. So my front length will be is 16 inches from the shoulder line. 16 inches from the shoulder line so I'm going to connect it just because of the bust that is on the front part so my back length is going to be 14 inches going to connect it so now this is my back waistline and this is my front waistline so my back neck width is three inches you can use more than that if it's deserve it and my 
shoulder measurement for the back is 7.5 because my back is 15 inches divided by 2 will give me 7.5 which is here so my back depth is going to be one inch i'm going to connect it with my curve ruler just like this my shoulder slant from this point of that 7.5 inches i'm going to measure one inch for my shoulder slope for the back part which is going to be here now i'm going to connect it slantly like this to form my shoulder slant for the back part from this point now i'm going to measure out my chest line to get that easily I'm going to divide my bust, which is 38, into 6. It will give me three point, I mean 6.3. .3. And I'm going to add 1.5 to it. The total will be 7.8. So I'm going to measure that 7.8 from this, from this point now, which is going to be here. So I'm going to connect it straight. Before connecting, that 7.5, which is the half of my back, I'm going to measure it out on that same point from the center back to form my chest line. So here is it. This is why my 7.5 is, and I'm going to roll it down just like this. And my chest line too, I'll measure what is here from here to this place now. What is there now is 8.8. .8. So I'm going to repeat that 8.8 .8 from my shoulder here now from my shoulder line here to this place now which is here so for me to rule out my chest line for the back so this is it now this is my chest line for the back part on the front too i'm going to do the same thing mark my neck width which is three inches neck depth for the front is going to be four or five inches depends on how you want it and i'm going to connect with my curve ruler just like this if you are so good at your free hand you can use it but i'm using my curve side ruler i'm placing half of my shoulder on my shoulder line for the front part to which is 7.5 you know i said my shoulder is 15 inches so from there, I'm going to come down by 1.5 for my shoulder slant for the front. And I'm going to connect it straight just like this. And I'm connecting slantly to form my shoulder slant for the front. That's just it. So what I have here from this shoulder line to my chest line now. I'm going to repeat it here on my front part which is 8 8.8 inches and to form my chest line for the front I'm going to measure out half of my shoulder from the center front on that same point of 8.8 .8 inches you know half of my shoulder is 7.5 so this is where it is now so I'm going to connect it straight like this So what I have here, which is 8.8, I'm going to repeat it on this same line of center front line to form my chest line for the front. So I'll just connect it easily like this. That's just it for the front and the back part. And to create my armhole for both front and back now, I'm going to... On the back part here i'm going to measure what i have here and divide it into two so just fold your tape measure into two like this easily to be accurate so i'm going to dot it out i have from this shoulder line from this point now and this point i'm going to measure it out and repeat it on this center back line easily for me to rule out my front width line just like this i'm 
I'm going to do the same thing on my front part. What I have here, so I'm going to repeat it here. I hope you understand. What I have here from the shoulder line to this point, I'm going to repeat it here. Just like this. And here too. Just like this. For me to rule out my front width line. Now, to create my back and hole, on my back width line, I'm going to place half of my back width there. My back width is 14 inches, half of it is going to be 7 inches, which is here. So, I'm going to connect straight to this point now, just slightly like this. And I'm going to use the curved side of my ruler to finish it up like this. So now this is my back arm hole. So to get my front arm hole, I'm doing the same thing. What I have for my front width, front width line, I have 13.5 inches. So half of 13.5 inches is 6.75, which is here. Which is here. So I'm going to connect slightly like this and finish it up with the cup side of my ruler, just like this. So this is my front ham hole. Now on my back part, I'm going to mark out my dart. To get my dart easily, I'm going to use my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches divided by two will give me 3.5 so here now i'm going to mark out 3.5 on the waistline too from the center back 3.5 so i'm going to connect it just like this to create my back that on the waistline i'm going to measure half inch on both sides which is 5.5 i mean 0 0.5 so from my chest line here I'm going to mark half inch, which is 0 0.5 downward, and I'm going to connect it just like this to the waist. So now this is my back dart, as you can see. So on my chest line, I'm going to input quarter of my bust there for me to shape out my back part. My bust is 38 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.5. So, I'm going to add half inch for ease to it, that is 10 inches. And on my waistline, I'm going to input quarter of my waist there. My waist is 34 inches divided by 4, will give me 8.5. Plus 1 inch that here, that is 9.5, so which is here. I'm going to connect it. So now this is my back part, easily. So on my front part, from the center front, I'm going to measure out my nipple to nipple measurement, half of it. My nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches divided by 2, that's 3.5 on my chest line. And on my waist too, I'm going to input it, half of my nipple to nipple measurement. I'm going to connect it straight like this. So from the chest line, I'm coming down by 1 inch. On my waist line, I'm going to measure half inch. Just like this for me to draw out my darts and I'm going to connect slightly to the waistline just like this to create my dart for the front so this is my front dart now I'm going to input quarter of my boss on my chest line which is 9.5 plus half inch is that's 10 inches which is here on my waistline input quarter of my waist which is 34 inches divided by 4 that's 8.5 plus 1 inch dart that's 9.5, which is here. And I'm going to connect slightly like this. Sorry guys, there is a mistake on my front part. From my shoulder line, I have to measure my boss point line before creating my dart. So my boss point line from the shoulder is 10 inches, which is here. So I'm going to connect it straight now. 
So this is my boss point line. From there, I'm going to measure one inch downward. And on my waistline, like I did earlier on, half inch of both sides, and I'm going to connect it from that one inch that I measure downward from my bust point line. So that's a little mistake that is there. So here is where my dart is starting from now. So to let my side, both side equal, you know, my front is longer than the back. And to let the side of both equal, I'm going to create my bust dart. So from here now, from my bust point here, I'm going to measure one inch, just like this. And here too, I'm going to measure one inch. So from that one inch downward, I'm going to measure that two inches out, you know, my front is longer than the back by two inches. So this is that two inches now. So I'm going to connect it slightly to meet this point, just like this. So here is my bust dart now. So, and I'm going to mark out the middle of that two inches. So I'm going to connect it as well, slantly like this. To create a room for my bust that at the side here, because if I leave it like this, if I cut it straight like this, at the end of the day, if I fold it and stitch it on my fabric, I will be short of fabric. And, not, and to avoid that, I'm going to measure half inch from this first line. I'm going to measure half inch to increase it just like this. So and I'm going to connect it slightly to meet my chest line, just like this. And here to, to meet the middle line of my bust that just like this. So I've created the room for my bust that. When, I, when I'm cutting and I fold it, you will understand better so here is my front part and here is my back part so i'll now add all the necessary seam allowances to it now so as for my neckline shoulder line arm hole line i'm going to add half inch seam allowance to it all through and as for my back part i'm going to do the same thing my neckline shoulder line and my Ham hole line. Let me quickly do that for you guys before moving ahead to the next step. I have had half inch seam allowance to my neckline, shoulder line, and my arm hole line for both front and back. So I'll now show you how to add side seam allowance to both front and back. Now, on my back part, I'm going to measure one hinge for my seam allowance for my side seam allowance. So here is it now. Going to connect it so here is it for the back as for this sipa allowance i'm going to measure one hinge from my center back i'm going to measure one hinge for my zipper allowance you can make yours more than that so here is my zipper allowance now for the back which is one inch so that's just it so as for the front i'm going to measure one inch I'm going to follow this shape, please note one inch, one inch here too. So I'll make sure I follow this shape here to connect it just like this and make sure I 
I hope you can see it very well. So, as for the as for this side now, I'm going to measure one inch for you to understand. That's why I'm making sure you understand it. So, so from here now on the waistline, I'm going to add one inch same allowance all through like i said earlier on i'm going to connect it straight just like this so i'll leave it here so i might make any mistake if i connect it straight like that i'm going to fold it before cutting it just for me to create a room for my bust that that's why i'm going to leave it like this so at the end of the day so when i finish cutting you will understand what i mean to avoid any unnecessary folding on my on our side both front and back i'm going to come up by half inch on my side here on the front part so on the original line not on the seam allowance line and i'm going to connect it to my waste that just like this connecting it just like this so if, if i'm adding peplum to my top i'm going to cut this place out so and i'm going to stitch my dart here is my bust that as you can see this is my same allowance so on the back part too i'm going to come up on my side here i'm going to come up by half inch to avoid seat bug here i'm going to come up by half inch as well so i'm going to connect both to the waist that so if i'm adding peplum to my or any down parts to my upper part i'm going to cut this place off to avoid any unnecessary folding on my side so that's just it and here's the dart for my back part which i'm going to stitch while sewing so i'll not cut it out now for you to see So note, while cutting on the fabric, please do not forget to add seam allowance to your waistline, half inch seam allowance, for you to be able to join it to the peplum or any down part you created for your top. So, Make sure you follow the necessary measurements, please. Do not forget to add waistline seam allowance, please. After cutting all these, after cutting this shape out now, here is it. After cutting it like this, on the pattern paper and you place it on your fabric like this make sure you had half inch seam allowance to it that is for the back part do not forget i've added seam allowance to my neckline my shoulder line and my arm pull line and as well my side seam allowance and my zipper allowance that's for the back and as for the front here is my center bar i mean center front 
I'm cutting it on fold on the fabric. If you are using it for the fabric, make sure you cut it on fold. So So, if I'm cutting my front part now, that's why I left this side just like this. For me not to make any mistake, any silly mistake, I have to leave it like this because at times someone might make mistakes while cutting. So, that's why it is necessary to draft on the pattern paper before cutting on the fabric. So, I'm going to fold my dart for me to cut out my front part so i don't want to make any mistake that's why i'm cutting like this i'm folding before cutting sorry so i'm cutting it like this So now this is how my front part look like after cutting as you can see so i have to fold it before cutting my side off so here is my front now make sure you do the same thing and make sure you fold this place that i shaped before cutting on the fabric and make sure you had half inch seam allowance to the waistline do not forget please it's very important and as you can see both front and back side is equal now so here is it so guys here is where i'm stopping for today if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akurede adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akurede adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at already I didn't get sewing tutorial. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed.